a number of crystal structures can be thought of as being derived from simpler structures such as the 14 brevet lattices. As one example of an important crystal structure so derived, we have the so-called cesium chloride structure. If we start with the body center cubic and we were to replace the center atom, shown here as the large purple circle, with a different element than the eight uh, atoms that are at the corners, we have the cesium chloride structure. So you can think of it as being related to body center cubic, but with the center atom being changed to a different element. A useful feature of this particular model is that in addition to demonstrating the cesium chloride structure, it also demonstrates one of the mirror planes that we find in the unit cell. So we can actually open up the unit cell and we see one of the mirror planes. For another example, suppose that we started with the simple cubic structure, otherwise known as cubic primitive. And in addition to the atoms along the corners, we were to place a different element along the midpoint of each edge. In this case, we would have the so-called rhenium trioxide structure. Here we see a single unit cell of rhenium trioxide. Then, by putting together four unit cells, we can get a better appreciation of the three-dimensional lattice structure of this particular crystal, rhenium trioxide. A number of important crystal structures can be thought of as being derived from the face-centered cubic, otherwise known as cubic closed packed structure, which is shown here to remind us of what that looks like. One of the important structures derived from face-centered cubic is the diamond structure. Diamond is exactly the same as face center cubic, but we have half of the tetrahedral holes in the lattice filled again with the exact same element that is found at each vertex and at each center of each face. We tilt it slide around this way, we can start to see where the additional atoms are at the tetrahedral holes. Then we can take the diamond structure and replace the atoms that are found at the tetrahedral holes with a completely different element. Here, this is what we call the zinc blend structure for zinc sulfide. So we can imagine that the silver atoms at the corners and the faces are zinc and the yellow circles represent sulfur. So we look at it this way, we can kind of get a better three-dimensional appreciation for where the sulfur atoms are located within the lattice relative to the zinc atoms. So this is exactly the same as diamond if both the zinc and the sulfur atoms were each replaced identically with carbon.
if we start with the face-centered cubic structure and then fill in all of the tetrahedral whole with a different element, we have the fluoride structure of calcium fluoride, CaF2. We can consider that calcium is at each vertex and the center of each face, and the tetrahedral holes are filled with fluoride ions. If we were to take two separate face-centered cubic lattices and uh, intermix them, we get the so-called sodium chloride structure, NaCl. So here we might imagine that the red circles represent sodium and the blue circles represent chloride. An additional feature of this model is that it will demonstrate one of the mirror planes again. So we can open up the model and we can actually see into the center. And we can see that it actually does have a mirror plane. It slices right through the unit cell. an even more complicated structure that can be thought of as being derived from the sodium chloride structure is the structure of Li3Bi, which is a superconducting crystal. And in this case, not only do we have the alternating interlocking face centered cubic lattices, but we also have the tetrahedral holes all filled up with the lithium atoms, the greens in this particular case. Another very important structure, which bears some resemblance to the rhenium trioxide structure, seemingly with a body-centered cubic atom added of a different type, a la cesium chloride, we have perovskite. So this is a calcium a titanium trioxide crystal. So the calcium is the center green atom and surrounded by titanium and oxygen. And one of the features of this particular model is that again, we can visualize the mirror slicing through the unit cell. By putting several of the models together, several of the unit cells, we can get a better appreciation for the actual three-dimensional structure of the perovskite lattice. Many different important uh, compounds crystallize in this particular structure. Whereas the previous crystal structures that we have looked at in this particular episode have been derived from cubic lattices, in this particular case, we're going to look at one that is derived from tetragonal, specifically a body-centered tetragonal. And this is titanium dioxide in the rutile structure. We can open up, and again, we see that this particular model will demonstrate the mirror plane. 
that goes. And the mirror plane is parallel to the tetragonal faces. Titanium is in silver, and the red circles represent oxygen.